Long ago, in a lawless age, a pack of bandits invaded a small village. Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant spectre appeared above her. She begged the spectre to destroy the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The town was saved, and the spectre vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. But the farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the spectre would appear again. A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? Aye, master. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. Of course, master. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <sighs> I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant spectre will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Uh, hmm? What is... what on earth could that be? It sounds like... it sounds like music! Uh, uh, the flute! It must be! <gasps> Quickly! To the window! Uh, oh! What is that thing? Can this be? Spectre! Finally seeing this dark giant made me even more determined to help the professor keep his word. Together, we would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Top of the morning! Why, thank you very much. Professor? Oh, Professor? Professor, a letter just came for you. Oh! <sighs> <sighs> thank you, Rosa. <sighs> Sounds like someone was up researching all night again. It's no wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. Oh. They just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. By the way, Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you, and that he would what drop is this? later today. I don't know why he had to tell mm. me that. He could have Regards just come Clark. Day, if you ask me. After all these Thank years? The trip. Rosa, I'm going out. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Rosa. I hope he remembers to eat something. Good luck.
see here? What was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. And you are? Why didn't Dean Diomona tell you? Tell me what? I'm Emmy Altava, your new assistant. Call me Emmy. I'm sorry, you're my... Assistant? You do know what an assistant is, don't you? <laughs> of course. I'm sorry, Miss Altava, but... Professor, please, Emmy, and stop apologizing so much. All right, Emmy. So sorry. But it seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. It seems that you have been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is that right? Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However... Sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, it's you. So, from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Great! I can't wait to get started! I wasn't too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting, after all. And clearly he had a lot on his mind. Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. It was my first day on the job, and I was ready for anything. Or so I thought. We still had yet to meet the young boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. So what perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail of now? Why would you ask that? Well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. What's this? A letter? Very good. I received it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it aloud. Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. Regards, Clark. A giant? Her? That's a... How well do you know this person? Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. Other message? handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you.
Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer.